<laughs> Good morning, Internet. I need to go find the plug for this thing because I replaced the battery, so it works again, which is great because I don't know how well the last set of film came out. Anyway, we're getting ready to get moving. Uh, we've begun a new trip. New trip. Yay, new trip. Woo! We went home for a couple of days, which was great. Steve tore floor out. Um, I am on my way to Minnesota, which is great. My normal run is fine. Apparently, it only took a couple of weeks, maybe three. And I got my contract back. So anyway, I'm on my way to Minnesota with a load. From there, I'm picking up another load that is going to Oklahoma and then South Carolina. One load, two stops. And then from there, I'm picking up another load in South Carolina that's going all the way up to Albany, New York. So we're going back up north again. But that's really good. I have a bunch of stuff planned out. The only one that hasn't been assigned to my truck yet is the one going to New York because I get that yesterday. I did a tiny bitty load yesterday that I didn't film because I wasn't ready. <laughs> I went from somewhere in the middle of the state of Pennsylvania all the way down to the Philadelphia airport and dropped off a pipe. That's literally all I did. <laughs> so that's an extra 600 bucks in my pocket, which is great. Um, Cause I was coming out anyway. I was doing this. I was getting this load. So I just picked it up a little bit later than expected and it was ready, which is great. So I'm getting out of here. That was my, that's my update. We have begun a new week. Welcome to the new episode. Hooray. At least I hope that this is a new episode. I don't know how these put together. I feel like Sailor Neptune because I have like this, this hair. I do. I feel like Sailor Neptune. I always buy a curling iron because I really like these big fat curls. They're really pretty. Like when you first put them in there, a little, it's a little much, but the big fat ones are really nice. So maybe I'll, I'll get a curling iron. We just don't have any money right now. I can't spend it on anything. Like I have all this stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. When I have money. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know, Tom. I see it. I'm in it. God. I love my GPS and I hate them all at the same time. I'm in this line. They're just literally weighing everybody. Okay, window. At least I get to see my weights, which I don't want to see. I just, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't like this. Okay, go. I love that though. That makes me happy. Okay, Tom. All right, scale is clear. Then proceed to stop on scale. You got it. Uh, I hate doing this. I hate doing this. I don't. Ah, it's not bad. That's not bad. Where's the stop? Where's the stop? There we go. Uh, oh yeah. Come on. I weigh nothing. Let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all my axles are legal. It's great. <laughs> oh man. I still don't like doing it. I think they're doing inspections too. Man. Busy day for a Sunday. Woof. All right, let's go deliver my freight. I know, Tom, I'm in the way station. I feel ya. I got this. I'm leaving. Oh, man. Ugh. Thank you, Minnesota, for confirming that yes, I am legal. <laughs> dropped and hooked. Uh, not quite the way that they wanted me to because they put a couple of trucks uh, where they don't belong. Uh, so I couldn't put it right where they wanted me to. Um, but I did I did as good as I could given my circumstances. Let me check my feet. Yep, my feet are all the way up. Sweet. Alright, I gotta straighten out my mirrors because I, I <sighs> get in this door. They wanted me to put it in one door but because they had trucks in the way, I literally could not get in that door without hitting something. So I just did a double drop hook instead. I, I talked to my girl before I did it. Feet. Turn right on West 36th Street and then take the entrance to the left in 930 feet. Yes, that is accurate. We're uh, gonna go, not really downtown, downtown, but we're gonna get close. So uh, I'm gonna go to my next pick up because I think I can park there for the night and I don't want to park here for the night because I have to leave really early because they all start coming in at like four o'clock in the morning and I just don't want to do that. Uh, I did go for a run over here though and that was awesome and there was a grocery store and I walked all my groceries back and I'm so excited I would move here. I would happily live here. Some of these apartment buildings are beautiful. I'm sure they're expensive uh, but I would I would be super happy. I could run around this park every day and be totally fine. And then winter would hit and then I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Man, that's not true. Minneapolis is awesome. I really like Minneapolis. I really do. Every time I come here, I'm happy. Even if it's raining, like it was earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna go back inside here in a second um, and it's pretty awesome I'm really I'm really digging this load we might come up here on a regular basis I might have a regular run now depending on the scheduling and stuff um, but anyway um, yeah my my tire run seems to be okay now and this might be a regular run for a little while because they have 50 of these loads <laughs> so <laughs> we might be here a couple of times 
Anyway, I'm in Minnesota, uh, Rockford, Minnesota, and there's all kinds of stuff going on this morning. Here, you want to look? There's a flatbed getting unloaded over there. There's another flatbed that's going to get unloaded. There's another one here. Uh, but I'm going to go get my boxes and uh, get ready to get out of here. We have a 12-hour drive we need to squeeze into 11 hours today. I think I can do it. They're adding like an extra 10,000 square feet, which I guess is a very good sign, right? Because like, if you're adding on to your building, then uh, that means your business is doing well. I would hope. Like, you don't add on to a building if you don't have a good business, right? All right, let's get out of here. Uh, go down through town. Whoop. Uh, take my boxes to Ochre Homer and then drop them off again. Um, yeah, I might do this run on a regular basis. They were lovely. Yeah. In yeah. 0.2 miles, turn left on MN55. Woof. Yes, Tom. All right. Oh, I have weight in the box. Not a lot. I think I have maybe a total of maybe 9,000 pounds. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Weighs nothing. Woof. Trucks first entrance. Skull Tavern. You know, turn right on connecting. You know, Tom. You know, on the right side. Tom, it's seventy feet. Tom, I got it. I really want to go to a Vikings game, and I say that after I've talked about the Skull Tavern because that's what they do at one of these Viking games. There's like a giant horn, and then the whole crowd gets into it, and I really want to go because it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> you just get that cool energy out of it. This gear. I want this gear. All right. Is that the mailman? Is that the mailman? <laughs> All right. I think I've gotten a washout gear before a long time ago. I believe so. That was a long time ago. Def all lanes. Yay! I should put Def in while I can. What's going on here? Why are we all parking on the side of the road? There's plenty of parking, guys. What's up? I need to use the letters. There's a, a sign for the cat scale because the parking lot apparently is complicated. I'm just going to pull in here and we're going to get fuel and it's going to be great. And maybe I'll get something else because their coffee is good even though I have a full cup. <laughs> I know that was a lot. That was a lot, wasn't it? That was a lot. Let's just get fuel. Maybe I'll see what's inside. I've never been to the Skull Tavern. That could be fun. Feeling time. Beta? Is it beta? Oh, it's much beta. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. We are ready to roll. Alright, let's review. We have 9 hours and 33 minutes left on my trip. I have, as soon as my clock rolls over, I don't know yet. We'll find out in a second. I gotta do five miles an hour. I'm not ready to do that. La 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 la. I'm taking my time. Taking my time. Taking my time. We have fueled. So what did I say? 580 miles? Nine hours and 32 minutes per Thomas. Which really means... I don't know yet. What's... what's seven times five? Do I... Can I do 70 in Iowa? I don't know. I'm really excited to go to Iowa. Sorry. Prodigy. Um, 
I'm really excited to go to Iowa because there's a bunch of stuff happening in Iowa right now that I just want to see like what's what's the general atmosphere in Iowa. I'm kind of excited. Anyway, uh, I have eight hours and 59 minutes on my clock to drive. I have five hours and 41 minutes on my brake clock. That is a Monster Jam truck, which is pretty hilarious. Um, I remember staying here once with Jet a long time ago, long time ago. They had like a big dirt pile. I think it might have also had snow in it <laughs> that he was very interested in. Uh, did I tell you I got grocery shopping done yesterday? I did. I really, I was very excited I got grocery shopping done. So why you ask, Allie, why the hell would you tell me that you went grocery shopping? Why is that so exciting? Because I'm in a 70 foot vehicle. <laughs> it's very hard for me to get places like grocery stores and good grocery stores to do grocery shopping. Otherwise I have to eat garbage food. Take the entrance to I-35 South. I-35 South, Des Moines, Iowa. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's gotta be cool. In 700 feet, take the entrance to I-35 South. We haven't been to Iowa in a long time, have we? Like ever. You guys have, no. Not, not ever, not, we've never been to Iowa. We haven't been to Iowa in a very long time. We're not going to the I-80. No, sorry, it's not on route. Nope, not even on the way back. That's not, oh God. But yeah, it's kind of significant that I get to grocery, grocery shopping because I, I don't have to eat garbage food now. I get to eat like good food. Ugh. I'm excited about all the food that I bought. I'm doing a lot better about planning out my meals though. <laughs> I've realized that I will just buy things like, ooh, that sounds good, and ooh, that sounds good, and then all of a sudden I'll have either too much or too little food. Uh, so now I actually have to think about what am I gonna eat and when, and I've been very disciplined about it. And it's been good, it's been very good. this trip just got really complicated so I got about an hour south of Kansas City I had three hours left on my trip things were looking good and then I got an email that said I needed to turn around and go back <laughs> apparently so I've been told is that the shipper put the wrong freight on my truck so now I am driving the 513 miles back to go and get the right freight and then drive another 513 miles just to get back to where I was and then continue on the other three hours um, My clock is completely screwed like this is gonna be a super tight trip on my 70 now instead of on the Where it was which was better um, I have to do a reset in South Carolina um, 
and they claim that I will be fairly compensated, but I haven't gotten a number yet, which worries me. So I'm gonna go to bed because this is crazy and this has literally never happened to me before and I don't know what I'm gonna find out when I get to Minnesota tomorrow and I'm nervous and I just hope it all works out. And I have to cancel my load. I had another load going to New York on Friday and I can't pick it up because this whole thing has screwed me up. Like I literally can't go get it because I won't have enough hours when this is all done. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I have to drive five hours to my now pickup again and then turn back around and I can only drive six hours and then I have another five hours until my delivery. Oh wow, my knee is really dirty. <laughs> Dang. Dang, these jeans are dirty. <laughs> um, so then I have to drive the five hours to my delivery and then I only have six hours to drive to the next stop and then I can do 10 hours. So let's see, Tuesday is full, Wednesday is full. I can't deliver Thursday, I don't think, because I don't think I'll make it in time. So I'd have to deliver Friday morning. But I won't have any hours, so I can't go pick up my other load. <sighs> they better compensate me. <laughs> this better be good. I better be making my mileage. <sighs> I'm just going to go to bed, and I will deal with it in the morning. I will deal with it in the morning. There's literally nothing I can do at this point. I just have to bring the freight bag and see what happens. I just, I won't know anything until tomorrow morning. I really hope I sleep okay. I wanted to go for a run.